the reckless Wall Street Journal has made me a fan of PewDiePie. In my opinion, uh, PewDiePie, the king of YouTube, 50, I believe 53 million subscribers. Was uh, caught being uh, not caught, but made to um, be seen. Was taken out of context to make it look like he was anti-Semitic. But it's just uh, comedy. I need to make another video. Note to self, um, am I racist? I think I'm racist, or am I a racist for making racist jokes, racist commentary on all races, all of them, every single one of them? And it, it's a real fucking sensitive subject because, you know, one of my brothers is black, and I love the motherfucker. My Marine Corps brother. I trust him. And, and people that know me know that <coughs> when I say I trust someone, that, uh, I rarely say that about someone. Rarely. And with him, along with my Jewish friends, Mexican friends, whatever other fucking race, all of them, are right? All these motherfuckers. We discuss race, um, racist jokes, which you can call racist jokes. Uh, stereotypes, you know, why are they... You know, and here in L.A., I'm pretty sure if you're a streetwise motherfucker, you're gonna, you may clutch your pearls a little a bit tighter if you see a, a um, a Negro, um, Sang his pants with a little little boat, with the little boat braids. Talking, mm hmm that's right, that's what I'm talking about. Mm hmm If you're walking down an alley, you probably clutch your pearls. Now, if you see a Negro, same build, glasses, four eyes, fucking pocket protector. Shirt tucked in, I'm pretty sure you'd be like, oh, who's the fuck's that guy doing here, you know? With the Jewish thing. I think Hitler jokes are important. Why, are you a fan of Hitler? Can you say he wasn't an effective leader? I didn't say great leader, I said effective. He persuaded the country to go <laughs> fucking start death camps and go to war. I want to say he's an effective leader. Oh, you're just saying. So you also hate the Jews. I also hate the Jews, huh? Is this where I defend myself? Well, you know, I've dated this race, that race. I flirted with this race and that race. Um, even when I look at uh, at porn, you know, because I'm the only person on the internet that looks at porn, right? I think I look at, uh, man, I wonder what her passport's from, what her religion, what her political views are. 
just like in real life, um, the more curvy your hips, the more uh, likely you'll get my attention. And these are subjects that a lot of people are saying, you know, we shouldn't be talking like that. You know, it's uh, it's racist, it's sexist, it's anti-Semitic. We're fucking humans, motherfuckers. You know, there's a time when the cavemen didn't have uh, the language that we have today to express himself. And we get offended when we tap into our physiology, into our sense of tribalism. And as we, as more information spreads, well, as, as more information is posted online, well, there's a lot of fake news, right? CNN is fake news. A lot of misinformation on there, too. You know, we get to learn more and more We get to learn more and more about ourselves, but how many of us really fucking uh, look at our culture? And I mentioned it before. Be aware of the fucking culture that you come from. Because just like there are, you know, there are people that will tell you, oh, fucking. Uh, Money is everything, no matter what. Take care of your own. There's other people that say, you know, you need to get, you need to rob people, you need to get paid, paid motherfuckers. Mm -hmm. And there's other people that say, you know, live by honor. Um, don't dishonor your friends, your family, your past. I just wanted to make this video to say that the Wall Street Journal is fucking garbage. In my opinion. You know, I don't want to get sued for slander. But it's uh, deceptive. Well, it was only one reporter that report, Wall Street Journal has been said. As far as I know, they haven't retracted the PewDiePie story. Nor apologize or any shit like that, so... And... I'm not a um, fan of PewDiePie. I am a supporter. I'm not a fan of his shit, I don't... <laughs> Um, I think I think today today was the first time that I've ever seen videos that um, of his that I was like that's oh, okay it's cool and a lot majority of it's just like what the fuck is this is this what happens when uh, there's no parents in the fucking house there's single mothers single fathers or no parent no parental supervision these are PewDiePie is the motherfucker that informs the kids. So, no, I'm, I'm definitely not hating on the motherfucker for success because people want to hear, people want to see um, what he's talking about. It's all good. In the Marine Corps, it's fuck, man. That's why you. Know, I miss it a lot, but you know, I didn't like the everything. Not everything. I didn't like the fact that you needed to get permission to tie your fucking shoes, your boots. And of course, I'm exaggerating, but um, get permission for that shit. Don't. <laughs> 
No real days off there, okay? But, um... All the hoops you had to jump. Jump through. But I think it needs to be like that because, you know, we're a life and death machine. Disciplined. And uh, out here in the civilian world, we're fucking nasty. But commenting on... We had Jews, Blacks, Asians, Hindus... Everyone got ragged on in the Marine Corps. Every motherfucker. Um, if anything was ever said to line up the mood, it says, hey, wait, hold on, motherfucker. There's uh, too much picking on this one motherfucker. Everyone needs to uh, get a piece of the action. You know, there was no... <laughs> there was no... Did your feelings get hurt and you offended? And definitely will not name uh, any of the Marines nor, nor any of the shit that was said by them. You want to see what they talk about? Go join the fucking Marine Corps, but it's... Shit, man. How many people will say, well, you know, I'm a Jew. My grandmother was a Jew and whatever the fuck. Hitler, George W. Bush, and Obama. To me, are all the same. Just leaders that took advantage of their people. Leaders that uh, we want to believe were the the great choice, the right choice, but no, they weren't. Are you saying that Obama and Bush killed Jews like that? I'm speaking about the um, about the uh, ability to be reckless and careless with the lives of others. That's now numbers is a different thing, right? Numbers and also a mission statement or um, method of shit. The method of the madness. And some people will say, um, oh, you know, you're just being anti Semitic. You know, you're anti Semitic, you're, you're anti black. You're a pervert, you look at porn. Um, all right. You know, I'm a huge fan of Milo Yiannopoulos because I love the fact that he points out that when certain people are losing an argument, the quickest way to stun the, um, stun or stop the, uh, <laughs> the crushing of the, uh, the victor from the opposing view is simply by saying, you're a racist, you're a sexist, or um, name calling. You know, there's certain things I could say that I would need to put in context. But if they were just said, just blank out, I'd be like, I don't know, people like, uh, people could say things like, as a sexist comment, a racist comment, xenophobic comments, anti-Semitic comment, hateful comment, anti-American comment, um, what other shit is there? That's not that, that's offensive. That's offensive. That's the one that um, that's the word I don't do not understand.
in perfectly correct. I've learned great things from uh, and appreciated many things because of my friends who happen to be Jewish, like that matters, happen to be Asian, like that matters, happen to be black, like that matters. These people that I have a great time with are just, they're just fucking awesome people. I remember my, my Jewish friend who um, plays the game. He's like, yeah, you know. Just, uh, I don't believe in that stuff. I'm just going with the flow. And it's, uh, It's a trip, man. I remember one fucking scumbag that I knew. Um, he's like, yeah, man, watch your mouth, man. There's a lady here. This guy has no honor. No honor. For his family, for himself. For America, he's like a bucket, say that. But it's funny how someone um, will go ahead and use um, stupid words like that as if um, the shit don't stink. I know that I went all over the road on making this or even trying to provide clarity in this video, but. Let's add a couple more minutes because man. If, I, if I was to make I think if I was to make a sexist joke, a racist joke, a fucking joke period. That's fuck that. Now I'm starting to fucking think uh I think I need to watch what they say. Joke about something, and I made fun of tragic things. You know why? We're fucking mortal. Oh no, but I'm a Republican. I'm a Democrat. I'm a Californian. I'm a New Yorker. I'm a female. I'm this and that. You're a fucking human being. We all have different points of view, different accents, sexual preferences, um, different definitions of beauty, different um, goals, different sorts of goals. Yeah, you know, there's a real fine line between being a loud mouth motherfucker and being honest.
but we'll see how what happens, you know. I don't think I would want to say something, you know. I don't think I would be, um, I would want to apologize and tell someone watching my videos, sorry if I offended you, and I'd be more, I think if anything I would say, um, if I was saying sorry if anything, I'd be like, oh, sorry if this was a boring presentation. I'd probably be more, <laughs> more sorry for presenting something boring than for presenting something that's uh, genuine. it for now.